Hi everyone, Zoltan here and this is Retro PC Building Weekend. So a quick update here. <clears throat> I have this new motherboard with an AGP and PCI Express as well and DDR and DDR2 and a 70, 775 socket um, Pentium 4 3 gigahertz and also in this PC we still have the Pentium for 3 gigahertz but this is the 478 socket version and also there is this 7600 GT AGP version inside of it also I have a 7600 GT for the PC Express and 7 600 GS passive cooled one. So I believe I will be able to test uh, the same uh, Pentium 4 processor in two different sockets and this motherboard supports the same DDR memory and I will be able to use the AGP card as well so it should be comparable the difference will be only between the CPU sockets and maybe the motherboard as well will make some difference in the actual scores and also I want to test uh, these two 7600 GTs, the AGP and the PCI Express version in the same motherboard and I hope the clocks are the same or close the same so we'll be able to test if AGP versus PCI Express will make any difference and the only problem with this that this uh, 16 times PCI Express bus is uh, only at uh, 4 speed and um, yeah it could be a problem we have a dual channel hopefully for DDR and DDR2 as well but this time I only have one one gigabyte DDR2 module so it's not much maybe I will stick with the DDR1 it's also one gigabyte but in the PC I have extra now three gigabytes running in dual channel also I'm overclocking the Pentium 4 this one with uh, the Xeon cooler you might remember and it's now at 3.16 gigahertz just a little boost and we'll test if it helps in oblivion also i wish to test uh, oblivion fallout 3 skyrim mm, crisis maybe these games mm, maybe also prey i'm not sure and um, so just a quick look at the boxes we have here and on the old crt monitor yeah i've just acquired this awesome HP monitor you can set it any way you want rotate it and anyway angle is supported also this way yeah many options really comfortable for testing purposes <sighs> okay so I make a few tests in 3D marks as well maybe only in 2000 and 2006 to see the CPU score primarily and maybe the graphics cards as well I will have to assemble this computer with the parts from this one okay and finally I will have this new processors to test this is a 915 uh, Pentium D processor for the 775 of course and because basically this is just two Pentium 4 um, yeah under the same lid um, it should perform better in Oblivion because it supports uh, two cores I guess so I want to see if this Pentium D will be good for anything at all because I think old games are not supporting dual cores and those games which are supporting them are optimized for the core to duo with uh, greater uh, per clock performance single core performance so 
I don't know if the Pentium D is good for anything at all. But we'll test it. I'm curious. There are only very few videos about this online. So I think this would be interesting. So that's it for now. And thank you so much for watching. And please like and subscribe if you like it. Thank you. Bye bye.